Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Marshall Spirit and Jens going up against Al Alpha Cena and Phoenix. All right, all names I really don't recognize. 2v2 becoming well, 2v2 opening up for some very interesting types of strategies. Phoenix and Alpha Cena down over here on the bottom going up against Marshall Spirits and Jen who are Jens who is off to the north. Human Night Elf versus um, well, human human night elf going up against night elf orc, and the first thing I'll notice is that well, there is no buildings coming in from the human player, no farm, no altar. Okay, blacksmith now being placed down first, so it is a blacksmith first in this particular opening. Now there is the altar of kings. Lumber is pretty limited as well. There is that barracks as well, and we should be getting up, I believe, double farms here in just a moment, as it is, well, very, very limited at times. There is that farm right now, and now we should be getting in more um, more lumber right behind this. Timing on this particular build order is very key indeed, as, well, being able to build the blacksmith, the barracks, the altar, and your farm all together, the double farm all together, means, um, well, you have to delay that early lumber and gold or your early tech here. We are looking at a priestess of the moon already coming in from the south side here and a tauren chieftain. Interesting choices on the heroes with a keeper of the grove. Are we going to be looking at a paladin coming in from the other side as well? Dang it. I don't like um, I did that like one accidental roll forward as I, I use a mouse drag. It just absolutely changes it. And now this is the standard attack. zoom on the game. All right. Paladin is getting trained up here. We should be looking at a rifleman as well. Um, trying to get into, um, well, there you are. There's that rifleman getting trained up. We should be getting up another farm as well, waiting for that extra bit of lumber. Where's that farm? There it is. And yeah, that this build order is particularly tight and difficult to execute as we're looking at 21 over 24 supply um, um, right now. All right, coming back off on the other side here, Ancient of War has absorbed a bit of damage and now, well, continuing to tank all of that damage right there. Double Wisp off over to the side as the Priestess of the Moon is already in position trying to cause some problems all right gonna go in and try and snipe a little bit of experience as well gonna be finishing off some of those trends pretty easily trends all pretty much falling down three trends lost 60 experience already on the board going after some of those units as the archer now trying to retreat back away all right um, healing not gonna be enough here there there is that archer archer is gonna end up getting taken down one more shot will be needed there it goes finally getting taken down as the priestess of the moon does quite a bit of damage paladin now finally out onto the battlefield here and it will be working alongside the remainder of this creep camp. Holy Light is going to come into play as the militia clear off the remainder of this creep camp. But that does mean that, well, all heroes are still stuck at level 1 for now. Down to the south, Torrent Chieftain um, working with Headhunters to try and clear out some of these creep camps. Bottom right-hand side of the map, Torrent Chieftain wandering around here. That is a Fountain of Health. And what is there? Some very, very nasty high-level creeps. Um, indeed, going to purposely go ahead and try and pull them away. Priestess of the Moon is going to go ahead and hold this position here. Does have Searing Arrows instead of True Shot Aura, interestingly enough, as we are now going to perhaps gonna try and engage here with them nowhere near those um, that Fountain of Health for that regen. Torrent Chieftain is actually benefiting from that regen quite a bit here. There goes one elemental. The Berserk Elemental C Elemental should easily be cleaned up. And this is just familiarity with the map to know that you can try and clear out these creep camps once you pull away the Berserk Elemental and this C Elemental here. Torrent Chieftain will get to level 2. There it goes. Finishing off the last unit here. Not quite sure what that rune was. But a sea elemental will end up getting taken down. It looks like it was a scroll, a rune of speed, as they're gonna perhaps try to make their way back out over here to the top left. Torin Chieftain at two with Endurance Aura as well. That Wand of the Wind is going to be key into perhaps sniping down a couple of early units as the Paladin does have a Scroll of the Beast as well. All right, coming back across here, Expansion going to be easily pressured by this 
a priestess of the moon priestess of the moon could well oh holy light saving that peasant right there as damage is going to start to add up slowly all is phoenix really trying to put pressure or is this more of a bait and timing attack for the torrent chieftain to get higher and higher torrent chieftain does have now a pendant of energy which should help out um, indeed. All right, Keeper of the Grove coming in from the behind. Going to get perhaps an entangle off onto on some of those units as the Priestess of the Moon should be regrouping with this army here in just a moment. Still sitting at level 1. There is a Cyclone being used. Torrent Chieftain throws down a Stomp. Keeper of the Grove. Is it going to try and get an entangle off Keeper of the Grove? Oh, down to 880, 68 hit points. He's forced to retreat back out. Unable to get the proper surround or able to get a proper surround off onto that um, Torrent Chieftain. However, the uh, opposing damage was just far too much, forcing them to do a Scroll of Town Portal back home. Tech to Tier 3 already underway for the Orc um, Phoenix, the Knight of Stain at Tier 1. Coming across, looking at the human, still at Tier 1. And we are at Tier 2, coming in from the Night Elf Gen. Demon Hunter going to be the follow-up hero right behind that Keeper of the Grove. As the Paladin, well, inches closer to level 3 as well. I think you can make the colors the same for both teams. Uh, if I, yeah, I, I, I try that, it... It then changes names and it does really strange things. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what happened here. I think it is yellow and yellow now, but the names were getting changed up before um, metaphysics. I'll, I'll try it again, but th weird things were happening to the overlays as well. Anyways, down to the south here, we're looking at... Yeah, see, if you look here, Al Pacina is... Al Pacina here is blue. And it's red, and it's the red up top. Martial spirit, yeah. It, and gens, it it just is throwing my eyes off, trying to make sense of the entire situation. <clears throat> Torrent chieftain sitting now at level four, going after the remainder of well, going after this gold mine creep camp here on synergy. Um, there are additional expansions outside of the center ones. And we'll see whether or not the well, the orc army down to the south actually tries to grab it. I'm going to switch back here. Um, it, it makes it a little bit easier for me actually to have it match the match away. By the way, zoom will reset now after 15 seconds if you zoom out by mistake. All right. Oh, that that's awesome. All right, Torrent Chieftain going to go. I think that's what actually happened here. Torrent Chieftain now going after all of these units. Ring of Protection plus three. Is it going to get picked up? No, the Torrent Chieftain already full on items. Unable to pick that up. Meanwhile, the Priestess of the Moon is at level three. Level two True Shot or a Sobi Mask doesn't really need it. Should actually give it to the Torrent Chieftain who wants more mana. And then, well... Yeah, give it to the Torrent Chieftain who wants more mana. Scroll of the Beast with True Shot Aura is going to give some major damage bonus across all of these Huntresses. Meanwhile, over here off the left-hand side, a Dragon Turtle devouring up an Archer right here. That is a lot of, well, a lot of things to consider as a level 10, level 7, level 7 creep camp going to get cleared up, giving Warsong Battle Drums to um, the Demon Hunter a, a big damage bonus across all of these units. And we'll see what item is, well, dropped down off over here. Huntresses are going to try and engage. Everything here has pretty much heavy armor. No magic damage to be seen as we're looking at, well, uh, perhaps a Dragon Turtle trying to devour here. Oh, they're not even engaging. They're trapped into this corner. They're trying to walk back. And it, well, Alpha Sina and Phoenix doing a great job, really not taking any damage on any of these units, getting to level 5 on the Torrent Chieftain during this time. Where is the Priestess of the Moon? Priestess of the Moon could easily get to level, or is it going to get to level 4 off of these level or 2 level 7 turtles? Yes, it does. And that is going to be some big damage indeed. A Medallion of Courage, however, left behind. That is both, that is the perfect item here for that Torrent Chieftain. Now up to 490 mana with a Sobi Mask. All right, items are looking particularly um, um, particularly strong. Yes, map awareness, map familiarity is such an important part of the game here as we're looking at this marketplace perhaps about to get cleared up here in just a second. All right, uh, Lightning Revenants casting that chain, Lightning going and bouncing around. Torrent, Cleef oh, uh, Torrent Chieftain should transfer the claws. I didn't. Um, I don't think it has claws, right? No, Scroll of Healing. Um, needing a couple of consumable items. Also, that Torrent Chieftain is currently invisible. 
and that is going to be incredibly important in this upcoming fight being able to land and, and well execute a well a very very stunning opening um so to speak huntresses are all of all already in position we are looking there is a scroll of the beast as well and well the damage could be added up very quickly here archers all those units can try and back away there's a lot of riflemen the bonus damage already at on the huntresses plus four and this is before we are using a scroll of the beast so that damage can add up very very quickly indeed torrent chieftain trying to well, venture forth where is it going to go oh there was a disenchant right there mana burn onto the torrent chieftain as well but he still has plenty of mana as we see a cyclone picking up that demon hunter for a little while longer he's going to try to go to the very far back throws down another stomp demon hunter too far away another mana burn could be coming in order but the torrent chieftain has well uh, the one of mana stealing and now siphon mana the blood mage purposely taking mana away from the torrent chieftain two stomps is all you're going to get but is that enough here as i believe they were uh, hoping for at least a three stomps out of a 490 mana torrent chieftain with a sobi mask Huntress is now trying to back around here. It looks as though Scroll of the Beast plus nine damage across all of these units as Huntresses and the lines are just completely all over the place. Plus 14 damage on the Berserkers with Endurance Aura for faster attack speed. Another mana burn onto the Torrent Chieftain. And the, well, the South Side, who was looking to be so strong, well, uh, tried to force an engagement and that engagement just didn't go all that. Well, that engagement, it just went kind of... I, I, don't, I can't even tell who's winning right now. The uh, engagement didn't go nearly as well as they planned. Torrent Chieftain did, in fact, get up to level 6. Priestess of the Moon sitting at level 4 now. Going to try and go after some additional units. Perhaps the Torrent Chieftain could get left behind. But, well, getting surrounded and then getting taken down for the second time is also what they do not want. All right. Yeah, Priestess of the Moon did end up getting those Claws of Attack. Um, claws of Attack off down to the south here. Where is that Potom? Um... I don't see it. Oh, Potom got left behind here. Claws of Attack plus 9, so plus 15 damage onto that Priestess of the Moon. Add in Searing Arrows and a little... and Well, that will represent a little bit more damage as well. All right. Mountain Giants, Keeper of the Grove, Paladin, making their way off from the north. Blood Mage with that Siphon Mana. Absolutely some clutch, clutch play right there. Um, being able to shut down a level 6 Torrent Chieftain. This is key. Normally, the level 6 Torin Chieftain is a very scary unit um, because of stomps and the fact that if you kill him, he just comes back. However, between the mana burn of the Night Elf and the siphon mana of the Blood Mage, you, you pretty much have a way to answer and deal with that level 6 Torin Chieftain. Off to the side here, we're looking at the Demon Hunter now seeing that level 4 does have enough for 2 mana burns. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 4 as well as we're going to be going into a re-engagement in the center. Alright, 57 supply and 52 supply going up against 41 supply and 49. South side a little bit smaller in terms of their army, but that does mean that they are harvesting more um, gold per second right now. Alright. Clearing up the last remaining creep camps here. Blood Mage will stay at level 2. Paladin will stay at level 4. As we're looking at these units, perhaps trying to get an engagement here. Phoenix bringing in Glaive Throwers to the fight here. Endurance, no, only True Shot or no Endurance or as the Torrent Chieftain. Well, trying to use Invisibility and trying to repeat that strategy once more. Will it work out? Um, it, will he be able to spot his opponent? Or will Jens be able to mana burn and siphon mana from that Torrent Chieftain in time? That is that key, key question uh, to be had. All right, Sentry Wards were are all revealed right there. And well, purposely revealing the Sentry Wards, that is absolutely key as well. Knowing that that Torrent Chieftain, well, is going to try another invisibility trick. And we now know that it's not necessarily going to work. All right, are they going to be able to clear this up here? Torrent Chieftain is purposely trying to stay away. There is that ward right in the center. No AoE disenchant either as the Glaive Throwers are just having a field day, getting in damage across the side here. All right, Torrent Chieftain going to try to venture on in. Are we going to see a stomp? There's that stomp right there, stunning down multiple units. There's a Lightning Shield, and damage is getting across here. Siphon Mana, Torrent Chieftain going to try to throw down a stomp. Yes, gets the stomp off, but the Blood Mage was just far enough away to see more mana siphon back off. Torrent Chieftain now finally out of mana completely. Berserkers, well, however, with Bloodlust and oh no, just with Berserk Rage right now, with that faster attack speed and that Torrent Chieftain as a Flame Strike now going down, forcing more zoning again. 
All right, Torin Chieftain about to get taken down. Does he really care? Probably not. Just trying to get as much damage across multiple units as we see a lot of missing happening as that, uh, well, as that Demon Hunter with Evasion. Torin Chieftain now finally out, but he is not out for the count. He's going to be popping back up here in just a moment. There's the Stomp, and he gets the gets the uh, Blood Mage. That's going to be key, shutting down the Blood Mage before the Blood Mage gets any more Siphon mana as the uh, well, another Mana Burn comes across. All right, another Stomp could focus down multiple units. There it goes stomping down to two riflemen already and it looks like the south side well is getting in a lot of mileage out of this level seven corn chieftain still level five priestess of the moon level five priestess of the moon searing arrows going back onto some more of those units mortar teams however able to fire back from the safety of their home getting in so much damage across all of those huntresses as well as that mortar team damage is going to add up slowly but surely all right still trying to retreat back here the glaive throwers were they able to stop the expansion no they are not and this has been the story of the game right now this human expansion in the center portion of the map giving a better economic advantage and being able to train up a larger army 65 supply compared to 53 59 on the south side here and 39 Torin chieftain losing a lot of headhunters and shaman in this retreat back home Torin chieftain still has quite a bit of time before it is going to be able to repeat that um, well repeat that entire strategy of of, of well, using resurrection here we are going to see the medallion of courage and pendant of energy picked back up once more sobi mask is there as well it got replaced by autumn leaves in one of the big weekly clubs yeah i, I saw that earlier and the shamans are getting added in too all right heading back off to the north here Huntresses, Priestess of the Moon, Priestess of the Moon, just shy of level six, level three True Shot Aura. I do not expect to see um, a Starfall um, star when your opponent has, um, well, a Keeper of the Grove, Entangle, Mana Burn, and all that. It's very difficult to maintain enough mana to have Starfall be useful and then have it see it completely shut down by an Entangle is just. Well, a little bit disheartening at times. Huntress is going to get into position here. Easily going to be able to finish off this expansion. Demon Hunter already making its way back over. Perhaps already seeing that the Torrent Chieftain is right there. More Sentry Wards just being placed down. And that Torrent Chieftain just wants to say boo. All right. Uh, Berserker is coming back the other side. Mountain Giant's going to begin to absorb a lot of damage. There goes an Entangle right here. And here we are going into damage. Mortar Team is going to be able to perhaps start flattening all of those Huntresses off to the backside here. We are getting into a Scroll of Protection Stomp coming across as Lightning Shield now trying to be used to, well, uh, well mitigate some of all or mitigate this entire backline. Torrent Chieftain pretty much going to be out of mana only getting one stomp in i believe and that was a big big downside indeed lightning shield on that torrent chieftain though as we're still seeing damage come back across all right are we going to actually be looking at starfall uh, difficult to tell can't tell oh there is starfall starfall now being brought in as there is that entangle right there keeper of the grove quickly shut that down torrent chieftain unable to get that stomp in as i was mentioning earlier and now with all of that mana gone the priestess of the moon's auto attack not nearly as scary mountain giants still pushing their way through mortar teams the game has really been a, a talk of the mortar teams being able to freely attack constantly and that is pretty much going to be the end right there as the units are all retreating back. Yes, the expansion was lost, but at what cost? The mortar teams from that back line able to well, deal pretty much free damage. Uh, those glass cannons able to destroy that entire back line once more. All right, coming back around. Well, priestesses or huntresses all retreating back again here, trying to heal back up off to the side. Some of those huntresses aren't even close enough to that fountain of health to get the real recovery as we see an entangle go down on that berserk. The berserker can easily get finished off here. More units trying to make their way over in transit, but I believe this game is pretty much already gonna be over mountain giants as a front line mortar teams go and make short work of these buildings in no time flat let's I see another volley taking down those barracks as well torrent chieftain gonna be venturing forth mana burn siphon mana torrent chieftain trying to head away as the mortar teams are getting well what is that torrent chieftain doing down to 45 hit points it's looking like he doesn't care if he gets taken down perhaps the resurrection is already a reincarnation is already on a um, cooldown complete as the knights are engaging against all these units here all right blood mage trying to break his way free siphon mana away from that right there he's going to perhaps get a flame strike 
on himself. Holy Light uh, trying to save the Blood Mage. Gets up to level 4. There's a Holy Light once again. And so much surrounding indeed. There goes a Flame Strike onto himself. As the Blood or as the Torrent Chieftain finally going to get taken down. He is going to get back up again. Demon Hunter, Mana Burn are uh, already in position for the follow-up. As the armies from the north able to use that economic advantage and translate that into a victory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.